Hello, Troy. Could you give an introduction about yourself? Oh, hi, Rikers. Yes, my name's Troy. I'm 46 years old. I have a family, happily married with two sons. I mm -hmm. joined the real world in March this year and have been enjoying learning about crypto investing with Professor Adam. Okay, interesting. So how did you find out about the real watch? Uh, good question. Yeah, so I've got two sons and the, the current school curriculum doesn't teach students how to make money. Uh, I went through that same curriculum a, a fair few years ago now and I wanted my sons to learn financial skills early in life that will give them a head start into, the, into their career of being men. I've been listening to various YouTube content about the sort of decline in young men at university and the increase in young men that are retreating into video games and, and the digital world and that seems to offer them somewhere to quietly stagnate. So during my research into alternatives into uh, universities, uh, I'd come across the real world. Uh, I had a look at the, the site and then... And I had a look at the subscription cost and, and how low that, that was. It was a bit of a no-brainer to have a look and see what was on offer. And mm -hmm. once, I, once I joined, I've, I've not looked back. So the amount of content and real-world application on the, on the website is amazing. And, mm -hmm. the, yeah, there's, there's so many years' worth of quality learning that can go on in there. Are your sons in the real world as well then? Or are they too young? One of them is. Mm -hmm. And the other one hasn't joined just yet, but mm -hmm. he will. Did you join the crypto campus as soon as you came into the real world or did you go into other campuses before? I had a look at some other campuses to see what it, what it was. But the, the crypto campus took my interest because I was one of the, uh, let's say, degenerate gambling investors way back in the last run of crypto who didn't invest well and not much at all really i didn't know what i was doing at least i was smart enough to know that uh, and so i had some interest in it and the other part i suppose was having an avenue to diversify some investments but after looking through the campuses uh, I, I looked at one or two and then i came across crypto and i, I got interested Mm -hmm. And how has that experience been for you going through the crypto campus? How different it's is been, it compared to what you could have found out on the internet in terms of resources? Oh, it's just amazing. It, the The resources in there are just truly amazing, and uh, the the way that the the way that the lessons are structured from from the beginning, uh, there's just a very clear path forward to learn and and nothing's uh, nothing sugar-coated uh, enough um the the message early on is is presented to you and it, it is all the information is here and it is all here it's up to you to work hard you need to get in there work hard and then you will get the rewards and mm -hmm. i've definitely found that to be the case that um all the if you, if you go looking for this type of thing, often you'll find scams on YouTube or other other um, platforms trying to get you to start invest here, put money here, um, do this, and then you, you we might give you a payout, and then put some more in, put some more in. Uh, you, you see examples of that come through actually the real world, and you, you see what a scam it is. And the professor Adam, he is. He lets you know straight up, you, the information's here. You unlock it when you work hard and you understand it. And then, yeah, so that's the way forward. So that's something I want to delve deeper into. You say you will unlock it when you work hard. So I haven't gone through the crypto campus myself in over a year. So I'm presuming it's changed quite a bit since. Could you explain how the unlocking system works when you say you put in the work? Yeah, so the, in the campus, you start with the tutorials and the tutorials are an introduction into the, the campus and explain how to navigate around uh, some of the things that you'll be learning and other uh, 
aspects of the campus. And then once you get through the tutorials, then you unlock the So then you unlock the fundamentals and in, in the fundamentals is, is really where the, the journey starts. And so the fundamentals, that was the one that actually resonated quite well with me. Uh, the, in some of the early lessons, the professor had mentioned just straight up a couple of the mistakes that I had made before I joined the university, not having, not having a system, uh, having a bag full of, how, how does he how does he put it a a, a bag full of um, insane garbage that no rational person should have ever held and, and yeah that was that was me uh, just some random Dogecoin uh, other things that just weren't any weren't any good weren't going to be any good uh, until it so the the message was sell it all put it into the signals that are, that are uh, provided and start your journey over again. So mm -hmm. that was, and then for, so from the, let's say from the fundamentals as, so that brings you into the fundamentals of the crypto campus. And then once you get through the fundamentals, you come into the investing principles. And so as each, as you unlock each area, the content is, starts getting more refined and more applicable or knowledgeable and then so from the investing principles you move on to the investing masterclass which is the culmination of all the theory that you go through in the in the real world crypto campus once you've passed the masterclass is when you move into where you start putting the theory into practical use and so the rest the follow-up on that campus is all the is building your own system and mm -hmm. using the principles that you've learned and using the knowledge from all the captains and other graduates and other postgraduates or investing masters. And so in amongst that community, you are able to grow and build your own system and have it, um, have it looked at by people much more or graded by people much more experienced than you and they'll give you advice on how to make it better how to make it more robust and more profitable mm -hmm. so two questions there first one being what did they tell you to build your own system instead of just following an existing one that's the age-old adage of give a man a fish and he you'll he can eat for one day and teach a man to fish and he'll eat for the rest of his life. So I believe the, the professor has been clear. He's not going to be around forever. That's actually one of the messages that comes out throughout the, in all aspects of the, from the introduction up to the masterclass. This is knowledge is not going to be around. He's not going to be around forever. And it's up to us to build the systems to make sure that we can um, continue on after he's gone. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Uh, and how far along that are you? Have you completed all the courses? I have. Yes. Uh, so the, what was it like building your own system? It was. It, um, I've had a great deal of satisfaction in with my first system. Uh, it's certainly rudimentary compared to some of the other ones out there, and you can see areas for, or I can see areas for improvement, but having that system and that sense of accomplishment of, um, yeah, meet, meeting the, meeting the grade was a particular highlight. Uh, I hadn't felt that sense of achievement for quite a long time, actually. Uh, yeah. And learning a new skill, I was, I'm, being very happy to do. Mm -hmm. Very interesting. You say it gave you that much of a sense of accomplishment. So how much work did you actually have to put into it to come this far? I'm just, uh, I'm trying to tally up the hours. So 
there's probably there's there's one part of the building your own system which is it involves making strategies in in a um, program called Pine View and so the or Pine Script sorry in Trading View that that's probably one of the more difficult parts to do and probably took me the most amount of time. So from March, I believe I graduated in, so my final graduation was in July, I think, so about four months and maybe total hours, yeah, it, that would be hard to calculate. Mm-hmm. But, yeah, in, in the hundreds it would be maybe two, somewhere between two and 300, maybe 400 hours. Wow. <clears throat> and you say graduated, so you mean just graduated from the crypto course? Yeah, so that would go into becoming a, the, there's a new rank in the crypto course now. It, it used to be called postgrad. It's now called investing master. It's, it's the, to get the, that achievement is the same as, as what the postgrad used to be. But mm-hmm. the Professor Adam updated the crypto campus into crypto uh, IMC investing masterclass two that was uh, maybe three months ago mm-hmm. and so yeah the, in in amongst the, the that change there's been a new um, descriptor of the let's say the, mm-hmm. the final so what happens year. after you graduate from the crypto campus yeah that's a that's a um you start following your, not following, but you start forward testing your own system. So you, the, the recommendation is rather than just start straight into following your own system, it's follow, follow Adams for a couple of months and then track yours, see how it's going, make sure it's doing what it should be doing, and then you can start following it. Mm-hmm. And if it's not doing what it's supposed to be doing, then you go back to your drawing board and you rebuild? No, it's a good question because I'll be honest with you, mine wasn't doing what I wanted it to do uh, in, the, in the early days. And so it's about looking at why it's not doing that and then understanding what, what aspects that are, aren't performing quite as well as they should. And then refining those and maybe rebuilding your strategy, which is, is what I had to do. But yeah, and so that was that was one of the that's one of the things that the more experienced guys really helped with with me and, and especially is um, sharing some of their advice in not jumping straight in because other others had done it before and it not quite worked as well as they had hoped mm-hmm. but the importance of forward testing and finding where you can make improvements because it is all of these systems need um, attention and all of them can do with improvements i would say okay how's the process been for you rebuilding your system are you happy where it is now or do you still see it's it's going to be it's going to be a process forever now i I, I will always need to tinker with it that there are Mm -hmm. never will your system be a hundred percent robust that you will just be able to leave it and then just follow it blindly there are the market doesn't let that happen it's not very early on, Professor Adam lets you know that these need to be constantly monitored and updated uh, to keep up with the um, new trends, new changes. Mm-hmm. Good, fair enough. So how would you describe, uh, this is going to be an uh, abstract question in a way, how would yeah. you describe the market then? Is it just a collection of the emotions of different individuals or the a mass of everyone's psychology but does that ring any bells isn't to follow up on um how would i describe it 
I could use Professor Adams' words that it's the market is a killing machine that's designed to take the money off the unwary. So the uneducated gamblers and the people that don't have an edge, people that don't have a system, that's what it will do. So the, the people that come in think that they know more than they do, uneducated, want to gamble on some random altcoin and not understand how how to build a system and what are the foundations of crypto and why it does what it does. So those people are just going to lose their money straight away. So that's what, that's what the market is. It's a grinder to take the money off the, take the, uh, the dumb money and give it to the, the smart money. Mm-hmm. Okay. Fair enough. <clears throat> so, Let's go on to personal matters now. How different is your average day now compared to before you joined the Real Watch? Yeah, yeah, different. So every day I have tasks to do. So every day I update my system to see how it's performing. I have a look to see if there's uh, an update from the real world that I need to incorporate. And so that happens quite convenient for me because the say the market close every day is at 10 o'clock in the morning my time so that happens at a, at a the same market close same time every day which me, means i can schedule my day around doing those tasks to update the system they don't take that long uh, and mm-hmm. and and then uh what else probably other the, the other part of my day that looks different is when I get home from work now. There's, let's say there's less consuming of, of content online on um, Twitch channel or something like that. And now I'm more looking at more lessons to learn or redoing old lessons and to solidify some understanding. And so I feel like I'm making I'm, the real world has helped me pro, uh, recognize where I was wasting time and and so now I do a lot less time wasting Mm -hmm. and how has that made you grow as an individual what changes have you noticed within yourself after having joined I think the the biggest change was the the sense of satisfaction of learning something new and and knowing that i could um i I previously i'd probably been getting comfortable in in what i was doing and i needed to stretch myself to learn something new and see what was what was possible so yeah moving out of the the biggest change that i've noticed is is how more fulfilled I feel now from doing something uh, difficult but worthwhile, and mm-hmm. and then seeing seeing the res- seeing the results from from my work culminate in the in the building of a system that I'm proud of. Mm-hmm. Good. What's the plan? To continue challenging yourself, where do you see your future heading in short term, medium term, long term? I'm I'm also interested in the other aspects of the the crypto campus. Um, I've, I've my younger son's actually he started in the decentralized finance, the DeFi DeFi campus, mm-hmm. and helping him so the next challenge i see is getting my sons involved and getting them to start to make um an income whereas the crypto investing campus is more of a money multiplier i'm interested in getting my sons so the next challenge is to get them into the real world and get them to start making their income from there good it's a very interesting thing to hear a father trusting a educational platform so much that they advocate their children to go learn from it as an income instead of going down the traditional route of university, then employment. How comes you're open-minded in this case and yeah. what you just said and you 
don't want them to just go to university like most parents would and then get a normal quote-unquote stable job Mm. i think one of the main problems with the universities is something that andrew tate talks about is the double deflation of the university degree so there are more and more university degrees coming out and they're costing more and more and there's also let's say the the third thing to think about is with that extra cost is the from in the country that i'm at that the student loans come out and you pay interest on that loan every year so you've got a double deflation and now you've borrowed it you've borrowed money that you have to pay back from your salary it's it's making less and less sense to go down that path when there are more modern ways and certainly in the in the real world you'll see things like the um, copywriting campus things like the DeFi campus there are unbelievable opportunities to get in and you can see thousands of students posting wins and i just feel that that's such a a more worthwhile way of learning than the the, the current university offerings All right very interesting answer and since you mentioned the quote from andrew tate what kind of an impact has he had on you personally if any yeah a a, a big impact the, the there's not many there's not many people speaking out for young men at the moment and and having two sons of my own it it resonates with me when people are trying to build young men into the best that they can be and that's that's what i see from andrew tate is and that's what i see from professor adam as well and and all of the all of the real world professors and captains they're trying to build you to be the best that you can be and and they, they don't they don't sugarcoat anything. It, the, the way to get it is hard work, responsibility, and thankfulness are, are probably three of the tenets that, that I really resonate with mm-hmm. and hard work being the number one. A very beautiful answer. Thank you, Troy. It was great to hear that. And on a separate note now what was the biggest challenge you faced when you joined the real world and were going through the material and trying to implement it um yeah that's that's interesting there there, there was a few the 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 master class exam is is challenging and it has a a high passing mark which is as it should be and as explained exactly the professor explains it regularly because he gets those questions asked in the um in the in his amas but so that yeah that was that was the first trial and then probably the the other big one was the building strategies in trading view i don't had i didn't have a strong coding background i'd done a little bit of um of, of um script writing but but not not and I didn't know the language of, of PineScript. So, yeah, the, the masterclass exam and then the um, building of strategies were, were the two more difficult ones. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> okay. Hmm. I believe that's most of my questions for you then. Uh, I have just a few left. What kind of an impact has the community within the real world had on you? Again, if any. Amazing. Amazing, amazing impact. The I'm, I'm, gl- I'm really glad you asked me that actually because what I really enjoy is having everyone there from someone who's 14 year old and just started and then you also have the captains that have been there they've, they've, they've got and, and the professor as well who, who've achieved a gold king which means that they've spent many multiple days on the camp like hundreds mm-hmm. and the other part of the community i love seeing other other savants the, the you see the geniuses come in who just have an understanding of of uh, scripting or coding or finance 
and they share so much in the campus. Uh, that the amount of sharing and uh, help and assistance that's available for everyone is amazing. And, and when you recognise that, it makes it, no one's going to give you a free ride to get past these levels, but the, the support and, the, and seeing people who have done it, who will tell you, yeah, that took me three months, the same as you know, it, took, it took me around that, that timeline as well. And they'll say just, you know, very supportive, stick with it, you can do it. And, and that makes such a big difference. That um, So very supportive, very knowledgeable and very diverse. Uh, and I really do enjoy that. Good. <clears throat> you have a unique perspective on this because at your age, out 46, most of the real world is younger guys. Of course, I have interviewed people uh, around your age as well. But what's it like being surrounded by the younger guys? Do you see them as competition? Do you learn from them? I don't see them as younger guys. I see them as my brothers and sisters. And when there's an opportunity to help them, everyone jumps jumps in and, and attempts to help and that builds a community spirit. So I, I see them more as brothers. Mm -hmm. Okay. <clears throat> Again, beautiful answer. So to end off, for the people who are unsure about joining the real world, because maybe they think it could be a scam, what advice would you have to them? The cost of entry to find out that it's not a scam is so low and the reward in your first month alone is so high that I really do believe it's a no-brainer to at least give it a go. There's so many campuses to choose from. There's so many learned professors who are professionals of their craft that are there to teach you and help you make money and it it's just give it a go is my advice just give it a go mm -hmm. awesome <clears throat> so 30 minutes flew by quite fast thank you troy for coming on and sharing your experience with the real watch it was a uh, unique insight some unique insights from your perspective so i appreciate that and I look forward to potentially doing a follow-up with you at some point in the future, just to see how everything's going for you, how everything's progressing. And yeah, until then, I wish you all the best. Thanks, Rogers. Yeah, I do appreciate it. And, and um, yeah, hopefully it's, it's um, something that um, will advance the, the real world. Mm -hmm. I, I really believe in the platform. I think it's great.